FSD hospital of Wales in Cardiff, uh, one of the three endometriosis settings for Wales. Um, first of all, thank you very much to everybody for coming to March Day for this very worthy cause. Um, thank you very much, everybody. As you're well aware, endometriosis affects one in ten women. Okay? This debilitating condition can start off as soon as you start having periods. Most of the women who experience the symptoms are in reproductive years and then can affect you even after your menopause. Okay? A lot of people take time off school, it can affect your studies, it can affect your career progression, and for a lot of people, time off work. It affects your whole life and affects the people around you as well. Okay? One of these people, I'm sure you're all aware, um, has had similar symptoms. Her name is Debbie Shack, but I want to acknowledge her for a document that's come out and released by the Welsh Government last year trying to improve the care of endometriosis in Wales. Now she's been having symptoms, or she had symptoms for many years. Her journey took her through multiple visits to see her GP, um, eventually leading to a referral into secondary care, and she battled hard to get treatment, which she needed at tertiary care level. What she also found was that there were many women who mirrored the similar journey that she had. And it was through her and the group FTWW that raised the profile, uh, connected with Welsh Government, who set up a task group uh, made up of a clinical specialists across Wales. Uh, our endocrine specialist Liz is one of them. Uh, people across Wales who contributed clinically, FTWW uh, contributed and in the UK, along with academics from Cardiff University. And last year we re released a document looking at improving the care of endo services across Wales. Okay. It's uh, quite a big document, so I can't talk through all of it, but what we did see in the report was we're doing a good job, but we need to improve. Okay, and this includes all levels. When patients come to their GP, they need to make sure that the GP has the right knowledge in order to start initial treatment and to refer at the appropriate time. Because we know that endometriosis in the UK, on average, takes about seven years from initial referral to being diagnosed with having endometriosis. And that's seven years of having, um, I'm sure a lot of you know, the symptoms of endometriosis, which ideally you want to cut down so that you're on the right treatment sooner. On secondary care, one of the things which we noticed when we did the questionnaires, people had different care depending on who they saw. What we need to do, or what we aspire to, uh, to have, is high quality diagnosis earlier, sooner. So that means working at secondary care, making sure that uh, the knowledge amongst gynecologists um, is high, the standard is high, so when we lack us working people, um, we know what we're looking for, and when we're treating it, uh, we excise the disease as opposed to ablate the disease. Okay? For women who need tertiary care uh, sort of pathway, we want to smooth up the pathway as well. Um, we need to make sure that whether you live in Anglesey, whether you live in Abergavenny, Aberystwyth or Cardiff, if you need tertiary care, uh, endometriosis care or surgery, or any sort of treatment, the process is uniform throughout Wales, and this is what we're working towards and aspiring to. Okay? We're working with Welsh Government to implement this. Okay, but we need everybody here to help with us, keep, really, you know, keep making noise, because without, the, without everybody fighting for the cause, we're one voice of many. But if we stick together, we can have a loud voice, we'll get the changes that we need. Okay. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, one other thing we to about raising awareness. Not only are we raising awareness for endometriosis UK in Wales, but across the UK, uh, UK as well. Last year, there were, uh, we organised a group of gynaecologists who cycled from London to Edinburgh prior to a gynaecology conference. This year, we're doing the same thing from London to Newport as well, and we'd like your help in raising awareness for this. Yes, okay. we'll be there. Brilliant. Thank you very much, everybody.